Today we will talk about health data privacy and security. Explore the protection of health data, data security, compliance, and finding a balance between data sharing and privacy protection. 1. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, was enacted in 1996 by the U.S. Congress. Its primary aim is to safeguard the privacy and security of patients' medical information. HIPAA sets standards for the protection of electronic health data and stipulates rules for healthcare providers, health plans, and other entities. One major provision, the Privacy Rule, ensures individuals' rights over their health data, allowing them to obtain a copy of their records and request corrections. Noncompliance can result in significant penalties. Over the years, HIPAA has become a cornerstone in healthcare data protection, guiding entities on handling sensitive patient information responsibly. 2. Protected Health Information Protected health information PHI, refers to any information in a medical record that can be used to identify an individual. And that was created, used, or disclosed in the course of providing a health care service, like diagnosis or treatment. Under the U.S. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act HIPAA, PHI is information, including demographic data, that relates to the individual's past, present, or future physical or mental health condition, the provision of health care to the individual, or the past, present, or future payment for the provision of health care. It encompasses a wide variety of identifiers, including name, address, date of birth, social security number, and more. Ensuring the security and confidentiality of PHI is a central aspect of HIPAA compliance. 3. Data Encryption Data encryption is a security method wherein information is encoded and can only be accessed or decrypted by someone with the correct encryption key. Essentially, it translates data into another form, or code, so that only people with access to a secret key or password can read it. This technique is used to protect sensitive data, such as protected health information PHI, from unauthorized access or breaches. In the context of health data privacy, encryption is crucial for transmitting data over networks. Storing data on servers or cloud platforms, and even on personal devices like smartphones or laptops. Proper encryption ensures that even if data is intercepted or accessed without authorization, it remains unreadable and, therefore, useless to the intruder. 4. Access Controls Access controls refer to the selective restriction of access to a place or other resource. In the context of data security and health information, access controls ensure that only authorized individuals can access specific data or systems. They are a foundational component of information security and help maintain the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data. Physical, such as locks, biometric systems, or security guards, ensuring only authorized personnel can enter a data center. Technical, this includes usernames, passwords, tokens, and more sophisticated methods like multi-factor authentication. It ensures that only those with the correct credentials can access specific systems or files. Administrative, policies or procedures set by organizations to manage and monitor the allocation and use of access privileges. 5. Audit trails. Audit trails, often referred to as audit logs, are records that chronologically document system activities. They provide a traceable, documented history of events or transactions in an information system. In the context of health data security. Purpose, audit trails are designed to monitor and confirm the security and integrity of electronic health records, EHRs. They track who accessed which data, when it was accessed, and what actions were taken, like data modification or deletion. Components, a comprehensive audit trail typically includes details like date slash time of access. The identity of the person or entity accessing the data, type of action, for example, read, modify, delete, and the specific data affected. Significance, they play a crucial role in ensuring accountability, detecting unauthorized access or alterations, and aiding in forensic analysis during data breaches. Moreover, under regulations like HIPAA, maintaining proper audit trails is mandatory for certain entities. 6. Data Breach Notification Data breach notification refers to the obligation of entities to inform affected parties and, often, regulatory bodies when there's an unauthorized access, acquisition, use, or disclosure of sensitive data, such as protected health information PHI. These requirements are rooted in laws and regulations designed to ensure transparency and protect consumers. In the context of health data. Purpose. Notification serves to alert affected individuals about breaches so they can take protective actions against potential consequences, like identity theft or fraud. Timing. 
Regulations typically mandate a specific time frame within which notifications should be made after the discovery of a breach. Content Notifications generally include details about the breach, types of data involved, measures taken by the entity in response, and steps individuals can take to protect themselves. 7. Patient consent and authorization. Patient consent and authorization pertain to the patient's rights and decision making capacity regarding their health information. They are central principles in healthcare, ensuring that patients have control over their own data. Here's a brief overview. Patient consent, this is the voluntary and informed agreement by a patient to allow their health information to be disclosed or used for specific purposes. Consent is usually sought for medical procedures, but also for sharing medical data in certain contexts. It emphasizes the importance of patient autonomy and understanding. 8. Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health The Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health High Tech, Act, enacted in 2009 as a part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, was designed to promote and expand the adoption of health information technology, particularly electronic health records EHRs. Here's a brief overview. Incentives for EHRs The High Tech Act provided financial incentives for healthcare providers to adopt and meaningfully use EHR systems. These incentives were made available to providers through the Medicare and Medicaid programs. 9. The Identification of Health Data The identification of health data refers to the process of removing or modifying personal information from a dataset so that the resulting data cannot be easily linked back to specific individuals. This ensures the privacy and protection of patients while allowing for data to be used for secondary purposes, such as research or analysis. Here's a brief overview. 10. Mobile Health, M Health, Security Mobile Health, M Health, security pertains to the measures and technologies employed to safeguard health-related data and functionalities on mobile devices, apps, and platforms. As healthcare becomes increasingly digital and patient-centric, M Health has become a focal point. Here's a concise overview. Scope, M Health refers to the use of mobile devices, smartphones, tablets, and their apps to deliver health services. Manage patient data, monitor patient health, or facilitate communication between patients and providers. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.